Rob. Blake. Why don't we, st- like, I felt, you know, we had to do get through a lot of the, uh, the, the, uh, our routine. Yeah, we got to we got to chew that fat a little bit. Yeah, a little right. bit. Yeah. And open beers and drink them and yeah, sure, yeah, absolutely taste them. Yeah. I um, Rob, why don't we start off how we met? Yeah, because I we I believe we talked about this, but I haven't really heard it from your perspective in a long time. And uh, so why don't we just start from there? And yeah. I, well, no, you know what? Scratch that. I want to st- first off, who like what? I know what you do for a living. It's very confidential, or you can't say a lot of information. Are so. you a spy? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a spy. I knew it. He <laughs> is the unicorn that's in the narwhal. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> He's in the unicorn that's in the narwhal. That hangry and feeling, world's greatest detective. <laughs> I just... I'm gonna make no, so I me. work in, in mental health. So I work like in yeah. a residential facility for mental illness. Okay. Um, How'd you get into that? So it was always psychology, like going through school. It was either going in for music or psychology. Mm. And so I got my undergrad in psychology and neuroscience and then moved to Chicago in 2010. Where'd, to, you, where'd you get your undergrad? Uh, Albion College. Where's that? Albion, Michigan. Do you know that, Danny? Uh, have I heard of it before? Albion? Albion? No, I have not. It's a, a tiny little place right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, the Michigan <laughs> right. hand. Yeah, he's um, pointing to his hand if you're just listening to the audio, everybody. Yeah. So it's over, it's like an hour west of Kalamazoo, an hour east of Ann Arbor, and like an hour and something south of East Lansing. So like it's all around the big like Michigan schools, but it's a tiny liberal arts little place. Okay. Yeah, I was, I mean, I went to school in Ohio, okay. Northwest Ohio, so I was a little bit familiar with Michigan. So, but mm-hmm. um, Albino College, you said? What was it called Albino? Yeah, Albino <laughs> College. <laughs> Albion College. <laughs> Albion. Yeah. Um, so I went to you know University of Michigan, Michigan State, uh, but not Albion. I'm not. Yeah. yeah, I wasn't even really sure where that was. But yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, you you shouldn't know where it is. It's a <laughs> tiny little little place. I need a timer here. I'm trying to. There we go. Time time the show. Um, but yeah, so like, and while I was an undergrad, it was either like I did some like lab stuff, and then I did like I worked for a summer camp with uh, kids who had sustained closed head injuries. Mm. And then realized that I liked the hands-on stuff a lot more. Mm. So then I went for a master's like in counseling. So that's what oh, my master's is in. Okay. Okay. Dan, you did summer camps. Uh, not yeah. the same thing. No. <laughs> Just wanted to throw that out there. At all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so you did count, you got, you have your mat, you already have your master's. Yeah. Oh, very good. And then you just recently got something else, right? Yeah, I got. Your, um, like, you said, like my full license, yes. Well, well, I know, you don't want to... And yeah. also, too, just for the record, if you say something, we can always bleep it out. Well, afterwards. no, I'm a licensed clinical professional counselor mm. as of a week All ago. All right. Yeah. Congrats. Thank you. Yes, very good. And so you like your job, though, right? Yeah, I do. Yeah. It, it can be super stressful, of but um, I like... And what I, what I like about what I do is I don't necessarily sit and do like therapy with you know person after person after person so think like nursing home but for mental health Mm -hmm. um so everyone has a diagnosis of major mental illness so typically schizophrenia or schizoaffective disorder or bipolar disorder Mm, okay um and so i'm sorry just you can move this closer if you need to yeah instead of like hunching over it yeah yeah, just just um helping you out oh yeah so and what i do is like i Working there, I get to like have like a hundred micro interactions in a day. So like if I walk down, like if there's like a crisis going on in the building or something's going on, like oh like something's happening, and then I'll go down there and figure out what's going on and handle that, and then like move on to the next thing. Or like this person might be trying to move out, so like oh what are the things you need to work on? Like so it's a lot of like smaller. It kind of fits my sort of sporadic brain, and <laughs> and rather than like, oh god, I gotta sit here for forty minutes. It's like as soon as the conversation's over, then I'm down the hallway and dealing right. with another situation. And so, how does a job that's so stressful still be enjoyable? Um, because it changes every day. Oh. So I also like what I do is I also oversee some case managers and like look over treatment plans and that paperwork stuff can be you know tedious and boring but mm. you know there's that side of it and then there's the like social interaction side that i really like yeah, yeah but yeah. then you know i think in this month we've had eight or nine new admissions so there's 200 and some people in the building and so there's just so many different people and people are always coming and going and so like i'll find myself like working on different things like Every time someone new comes in, it's like a different set of things to work on mm. and a different person to interact with and a different set of challenges. And so it's like working with human beings and just helping them live life. That's, that's very, I mean, what's the word? Not gratifying. Yeah. I, gratifying. And so, word, so yeah. like the monotonous part that 
is like the paperwork that's really monotonous yeah, and like actually- you come into work and you know what you got to do but you never know what you're gonna experience when you get in and like i like that there's two things i heard well first off let me get my first question is i mean well let me say this is a statement then i'll have my question like yeah, yeah that's the one thing they don't show you on the tv shows all the cop shows or, or hospital shows. They, it's like, they never show you the paperwork. Like, never. If, they, like yeah. if any show is real, like it's a, this show is so real. No, because they're not showing the God amount of paperwork right. that you're doing. Yeah. Um, and then the um, other thing is, this is a very simple, simplistic question, but based off your job, I'm just curious that, are you on your feet more or are you sitting more? So that's a good question. Oh, I'm you. I'm on my feet more, I think, because I like to be on my feet more. Mm. So like whenever there's something going on in the building, I'm like, oh, I'll go take care of that. And I'll like uh, run around okay. and because that's what I like. And that's what I, I, I like about my job. Um, but, you know, on, on slow days, I'm, I'm sitting and doing paperwork and looking over stuff. Yeah. And, yeah. Okay. That's good. Now, let's get into, let's segue this. I mean, that's. <laughs> I wanted to get, provide a little bit about your your, yeah. your your background and your history with that because how we met is completely different <laughs> based off everything you just said. So why don't we take it from there? Yeah. You, um, mean to, you mean to tell me that you guys didn't meet by you having to counsel Blake at a social <laughs> <Right>. crisis? <Yeah. laughs> My name is not Blake. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, Blake. We've talked about this. <laughs> No, not, so, that wasn't being disrespectful, was it? No. Okay, good. Not at all. <laughs> no, so we We're met... In comedy. Yeah. It's all right. We met good. at Second City doing comedy <laughs> yes! stuff. Yes! Yeah. Yes! So, yeah. so I was in the writing program. Oh, time out. Let's take yeah. a step back. How did you even end up there? So, I mean, yeah, I love... Where find time? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, I don't know. If you, if you enjoy doing it, then like you found the time to do it. Oh, so, whoa, whoa. Did you hear that, people? That was a Did great you quote. Hear, that, that is was an outstanding that, I'm gonna quote. I'm going to freaking slap that all over social right. media. Right. And that's a, and put your, that quote through your beard. <laughs> right. A picture of that. Damn good, damn good statement. I love that. Yeah, so like right when I got out of grad school, I had a good friend, Kaylee Pope, who moved into Chicago. Mm-hmm. And she kind of moved here in part for writing. And her and I took some English classes together uh, at Albion, where we met. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. cool. Okay. And... I had always kind of talked about wanting to do comedy stuff, and she came like, let's do it together. Mm-hmm. And so we went into the writing program at Second City together. So so it was just that you guys wanted to write more? Is that all it was? Yeah, and I'm like Kaylee's got a background in English and journalism and that kind of stuff, so she really wanted to get into writing. A, br- a different, Well, yeah, if she has that background, she probably just wanted to get a different branch of writing, because comedy writing is a different... I mean, mm-hmm. it's, a, it's a really different beast. Then. Yeah. Well, and I think she also, she wanted to get specifically into comedy writing too. Oh, very cool. And so we went and did that and I love it because I love comedy and started getting really into it. Yeah. Let's, uh, gosh, every, the well, you've introduced two podcasts to me and I listen to them. Um, I would say not regularly, but I listen to them at least yeah. once a week mm-hmm. um, just to get updated with it and get yeah. the flow of it. Um, but yeah, you really like your comedy. You really yeah. do. Um, yeah, go ahead. Oh, yeah. So we met doing that, uh, or I started doing that with her, and then you and I met when we were casting for our student show, and you (laughs) acted in it. I did. I acted in a show that Rob co-wrote. Yeah. Um, And by co-wrote, like I wrote one song. (laughs) (laughs) You want to talk about that real quick? Sure. All right. All right. I want to say that my side is. So I auditioned for this, and it was a big deal for me. Big deal, Blake. Blake. (laughs) (laughs) We almost had it at the same time. Um, uh, That was a time where I was really working my ass off. uh, Well, I still, I mean, I'm working my ass off in just different facets now, but really working my ass off in acting and comedy and improv and all that. And I just was, I was in this drought where I was taking the classes, audition, audition, I could not get cast Mm -hmm. anything. And it was really, and I think that's a big part why we were friends still from this, because it was the first show in a, like a long time and years where I got cast in something and yeah, I know it's just a writing safe show, blah, 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 but it's still, right. it's, it's, I mean, it's still a second, you're, you're still performing a second, second city. Yeah. And so, like yeah. that show like sold out a couple of the yeah, nights absolutely. and so you had people coming to watch it. And honestly, and, and well going, I'll give it to that later, but it was, um, you know, and that's why I really took heart to that show because it was for, and I took it very seriously and I, I did everything and then I got to, and I really wanted to know the, the, the writers because I was in the writing program before you were. Mm-hmm. And I just remember how it was just like, 
Writers, actors, that's it. Yeah, yeah, like, right. oh, hi, that's it. But there was no, like, it was just this segue. There's like, no camaraderie, stupid. yeah. Like, why can't we just, no, we don't have to talk about the right, like, there's a code, Danny. Okay. Um, it's like the actors will, actors should never go to the writers for advice or suggestions. They should yeah. always go to the Like, director. so what you wrote is funny, but like, eh, tweak yeah. this, yeah. So the director's like, don't talk to the writer. Like, the the, the, the director is like this communicator between the writers and the a actors. A liaison. Yes, the liaison. Very good. Yeah. Um, and so you ne- the actors never go to the writers. The writers never direct the actors. That's what the director is for. Right. So, but that was the same thing. We don't have to talk about that shit. We're just like, like just strangely, talk. Right. Right. We don't, we're, strangely enough, I can relate to that. Yeah. Yeah, you <laughs> in can. In the restaurant business. Yeah. 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 Ex- explain. Uh, no, it's, I mean, there. it's essentially it kind of breaks down into a chain, a chain of command. But in any given scenario in a restaurant, there are people who want things to go a certain direction and the people who have to carry out that direction and there's the people in the middle who are generally managers or people who are in lead. And it always works that way where the people who are to carry out the directions, I get yelled at and <laughs> because they don't agree with something. And then the people who want this to go that direction, I get yelled at because it's not going that direction. So uh, yeah. I know that stress sure. quite well. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, and I'm the one in the middle often who's just like, hey, you know what? Calm down. I'm going to get this handled. Hey, you know what? Do your job. Yeah, like this, and that's mm-hmm. what, that's what a director has. This to is do. how I want it yeah. done. The director. <laughs> oh, you don't want to work for me? Guess what? I'll cast somebody else in your role. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, definitely the, the the struggle of directing, because mm-hmm. um, you want to be eye to eye to everybody. You want to be pal pal for them, but at the same time, if people the actors are, are excuse me, but fucking around on stage, you're like they're just like stop fucking around, mm-hmm. yeah, get right. your lines down, and do your job. Right. You know? Well, um, and even for that show, it's tough because you're dealing with a lot of people who are aspiring writers and aspiring actors. Sure. And you want to give them the best show that they can make while still letting them mm-hmm. fail. Absolutely. And, and you know, you as a as a director, somebody who's been doing it for a while, know like, oh, this would probably work better if it looked like this. But mm. like, that's not my place to change it. I didn't write this. Right. Um. But going back to the actual show, um, it was a it was a great show. Yeah. It was about uh, three months in terms of rehearsal dash the run, mm-hmm. and um, Rob <laughs> had a, a not just a sketch but a song. Yes, and I remember I think so the, I think one of the biggest things that brought us together is this song. And I went up to you, not like I don't want critiquing, I don't want to, but Rob. Where the hell <laughs> did this song come from? Like, actually, where did you come up with this idea? And the name of the title, the title of this song was called Gaga in Space. Yeah, that was the name of it. <laughs> You're just like, yeah, what's the problem? Yeah. Well, and so I'm, I'm now realizing that I'm frustrated um, <laughs> and forgot about the song in, in this, that I wrote it because it was 2013, I think. And there was a news article about Gaga was going to space. I remember that too. Yeah, she signed up in for the 2015. Sp- yeah. Well, it's 2016, and I don't think she went to space. Yeah. And I just now realized that I Golden didn't hold Globe her accountable winner. to go to space. Oh, that's <laughs> garbage. Dan, you saw the show, right? Uh, I, I'm you, no, I, I'm sure, sure I did. I'm no, you sure did. You brought I did. a friend there or a date or can't remember. I remember yeah. you were there. It was um. It was. It was. Don't give away my secrets. I take all my dates to Blake shows. <laughs> yes. Be like, hey, I know that guy. And it obviously has worked out yeah. for him. <laughs> it's worked out real well. Um, Thanks, guys. <laughs> Do you remember there was the show where um, uh, we dressed up like in these space outfits and we were dancing to Lady Gaga. Yes, that was the song. Okay. That was yeah. the show. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. That song was like, I'm like, where did this come from? And you had your explanation. And I loved what you always remember. This is like you just like pressure to write a song, or you just didn't yeah, want to write. And it. I was annoyed by having to write a song. Yeah. And so I rhymed the words space and place <laughs> together as many times as I could. <laughs> and then that sketch gets yeah. picked up by the good old Tyler, <laughs> yeah. our director. Right. Uh, it was like, so I know you wrote a I couple died. sketches, but you know this song. Oh, that is. I think so we need funny. to keep the song. Um. Anywho, we. That, what I liked about that show, and also, uh, you know, give a lot of props to Tyler for directing it, but the diverseness of that show and the sketches that were yeah. used. Um, we had um, you know, almost everything in the book, from blackouts to relationship to um, what was it? What's the um, uh, quote unquote quote unquote fucking the audience sketch? Oh yeah, like audience participation. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, and a, the, a town hall, town hall sketch. Too, yep. So. We, it was a. I thought it was a. You know, you look back and you're like, hey, we had a good time. We had a fun show. And yeah, it was fine. Yeah. So, that's how we met. Mm-hmm. Um, so, what are you doing now, Rob? I mean, yeah. It, like, so I'm. We've gone our own ways, but we still keep in touch. Hence so why I'm you're here. Doing mostly writing now. I ended up going through 
improv at Second City. They're yeah. like, I'm waiting for Danny program. to take an improv class. Yeah. Yeah. Waiting yeah. for Danny to that's, take one. That's next on the agenda. Yeah. And now I'm going through Annoyance right now. Yeah. That's my favorite. Yeah. And then I've been writing through a, a program at Stage 773 for the last year and a half to two, almost two years. Oh, this is like a continuation of it. Yeah. Right? yeah so yeah. it was called Scribble Bibble. Mm-hmm. And then, and that was like in June of 2014, I think is when that started. Yeah. Because I, I was, that's. Yeah, because I was in two. I can't always forget. It was in two or three of those. I can't remember. But we weren't. You weren't my writer, unfortunately. Right. But that was. I was hoping you were. Right. Yeah, and so like working with at one point five other writers, and then for a while it was me and Kaylee, and then our other friend Anton. Yeah. Um, oh, we gotta get that. We gotta get all of them on the I show. Know. We should do a reunion oh, show. That'd be on wonderful. Here. That'd be fun yeah. as hell. Yeah. Oh, maybe we get Tyler too. Yeah. That'd be really and, fun. And Lauren and I were just hanging around this this neighborhood yesterday. Oh hell yeah. Yeah. I miss Lauren. I miss them all. I miss Kayla. I miss them. I miss them, I miss yeah. them all. They were. They were. They were, they were um, and so people. we were, yeah, doing that for a while. Where we were writing at the the quickest. It was a show every month, and then for a while we had a run of I think seven or eight shows. Where it was every six weeks, and so it was just writing and churning out stuff. Just crank, and, that, and that's so that's essential for your. You know what I was debating to talk to you about this. I think September they do this. They do. Um, it's called like sketch month or something like that, where you have to write a sketch. Sketch a day, a day for a month. Yeah. yeah, I was thinking about doing that this year. Yeah, um, in September, I think it, I think it's September. Um, I was thinking about doing that and see if you wanted to like, because just like um, lifting, it's better to have like a a, a partner, like a buddy to like yeah. check in and, and yeah, you know, keep like, it up and motivate. Um, mm-hmm. And I was thinking about that and maybe doing it in uh, September with you for sure. I'd yeah, love to. We should. Uh, we should it's still got and a while document away. it yeah yeah and if uh, i'll just have danny write some sketches and he'll probably end up writing like one a month but i'll that one day i forget <laughs> i can use danny's sketch right <laughs> it'll probably be about batman and superman but still it's a sketch people <laughs> wonder woman would probably make it in there yeah yeah well yeah danny um maybe i'll do that for your birthday or christmas this year i'll buy an improv class would you do it if i bought yeah. you, if i just straight up bought you one would you do, would you do it yeah i mean I, i'm gonna be honest i just because my money is often t- tied up in, yeah. in my other debts, which that sounds weird, but it's it's not. It's just it's literally bills that I have to pay, credit cards, you know, student college, loans, college loans, et cetera. Yeah. Yeah. But if you got uh, it as a gift, yeah. But if I got it as a gift, yeah. If I bought you a gift, um, if I bought you improv class, would you take it? You would be like, would you be like, oh yeah, I totally do this. Yeah. All right, good. Yeah. All right. Um, but I don't. I don't want you to spend like an arm and a leg if they're expensive. Like, let me spend my own money if they're expensive. Nah. If I, if if we can afford it, right. anybody can. Um, yeah, yeah I, I, mean, I, I work in mental health in Illinois. <laughs> 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 we got the line of the show right there, people. Uh, two times. <laughs> Woo! Oh yeah, yeah, two times. Yeah, good. And a positive mm-hmm. note and a lighthearted one. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm thinking I might do that. The Quite the jab at Illinois mm-hmm. while we're watching whales in Alaska, yeah. jerks. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I am just. I think a big thing. When I'm very proud of this show. And this is 25 episodes, Danny. Yeah. Next week is our half year annual half special. Half year anniversary oh, special. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Um, but we haven't brought politics once up on this show. And it's like... I'm glad I'm very, you mentioned that because I really just wanted to talk about politics yeah. for the next hour. Politics, politics. <laughs> <laughs> um, again, that was like just Danny and I. It's like Asshole and Rob just drinking. Like, okay, yeah. what am I yeah. doing right yeah. now? <laughs> cool. Why, why did I show up here? Yeah. <laughs> Um, oh, they're talking about Trump. Yeah. Well, we can talk about that. Uh, we don't bit, need to. But we don't. No, no. Yeah. When I'm not talking about politics, <laughs> I don't care about. I'm not not even mentioning the T word or any politician saying. It. It's just that's what the T word. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is. It's just you know, with social media. Just everyone is just so emotional, put on stuff, and they have no backup or support of what right. they're saying. They're just so emotionally frustrated or, or passionate about something. They just throw it out there, and I'm just. And I'm glad we haven't brought that up on this show when it's an election yeah. year right now. No, and, and that's, I mean, I <clears throat> I posted that the other day and it was just, again, I don't want to go into it, but the primaries just happened and I logged on to Facebook and my entire news feed yeah. was people's pictures of their ballot receipts. So my <laughs> post was naturally sarcasm and being me being an asshole. And it was just like, for the record, I did vote today, but... Since all of you shared all of your pictures of all of your ballot receipts, I put mine on Snapchat and Twitter instead <laughs> because this just seemed like a waste of time. Now, can we all agree that we should express our religious opinions next? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe and you should just, be a writer, yeah, Danny. And it was just like, God, program. I was scrolling and I was like, did any of you have anything entertaining for me today? Nope. Nope. You voted. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. That's yeah, good. But yeah. do your civic duty. But I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> 
Did you vote? Yes. Oh, good for you. I did. Okay. Yeah. That's all we're going to talk about. It. Yeah. Yeah. We just got poli- we got political on the show. That's right, it. Yeah. We're done. Um, so um, you're very involved with uh, 773... Um, the scribble, uh, it's, a good, uh, yeah. it's changed. It was now called the artist slab. The artist slab. Mm. 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 Sounds like devious. That. Uh-huh. Scribble is well, that's not alliteration to the lab. Rhyming. Yeah, that's just rhyming, R- mm. r- rhyming, rhyming. We're just dumb. But <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, yeah. yeah, that was a good program though, and uh, we'll see where. Well, and it, it's just an awesome program for the deadlines of just writing stuff, and yeah. then it would go up once. And you see what works and what doesn't, and it helps you like really refine and like get those ideas out of your head, mm. like those sort of overwrought, cliched ideas. If you just keep writing, then you get through those, and then you get to like your Gaga in space. <laughs> yeah, right. And, yeah. Then, yeah. and then you just go into this frustrated song that you whipped out in five minutes right. when you're on the toilet. Yeah, and Gaga in space. And then it goes up in front of people who don't laugh at it <laughs> at all, well, and remember, just like ah, oh, I know. I want to see, but here, time out. Time out. <laughs> see, me being the actor in that show, I got to see the faces yeah. you didn't get to see them right the faces when you may have not heard laughter but it was more just like this <laughs> it's kind of like a kid who didn't get what they wanted for christmas but got something like super big and right. sparkly still <laughs> so they're like it's not what i wanted but look <laughs> at it <laughs> this isn't what i wanted but i'd like but okay Merry christmas all right <laughs> but i'm accepting of this yes. yeah it's like you got yeah i mean anyway. um but so i don't know if you wanted to talk a little bit what we talked about the other day about this show um you and anton are doing Oh, the the little theater. Yeah, um, we're we're kind of short on time, but I just see if you wanted to like plug that or, or yeah. Or so plug we're working at this place. Um, where we've got involved at this place called the Storefront, mm. which is in this city, and um, and it's the, this guy Alex Prevolos. I hope I said his last name correctly. I, I said it with confidence. Yes, you did. <laughs> um, and and he's just got a bunch of people together basically and, and built a, a theater in his house, a 50 person theater. That's amazing. Yeah. He just turned yeah. his barn. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. and started like, so they'll have like stand up nights and improv nights and then started getting into the writing stuff. Mm. And so he knew Anton through a coach ensemble at second city and then knew that Anton was into writing. So invited him and then my name got thrown in there mm. and then Anton and I have been writing together since That's second awesome. city. You guys are like just, trucking away with the yeah room. and I so we're that. now starting to sort of be like the head writers if you will yeah well i'll, I'll say i'll definitely shoot you some sketches just yeah to for see sure what it's like and um so is there a way you can plug that time or yeah i mean so actually we we sent an email out yesterday i don't Ooh. know when this comes out so on the well, 20th this, this, this episode will be released this week starting okay. it'll be tuesday through thursday this week okay so um it would be storefront writing um, at gmail.com I believe yeah storefront okay. writing at gmail.com All would right. be submit your sketches people yeah very cool do you, mm-hmm. want me to, do you want me to put like a little like sure thing here? I yeah and so right there. there's like a thing like send a sketch and then alright yeah well I'm very uh, happy you're you know it wasn't a lot of people just take this writing class and like I did the program now give me a job like no it's not how it works it's not no. like it's, it, I, I refer to the the all these improv writing and all these acting classes, they people think it's like college that, which are both wrong, by the way. It's like, I went through, I graduated college. Give me a job. No. Right. I finished this acting program. Give me an acting gig. No. It's, yeah, it's, it's not <laughs> how that you works. You have to audition, job interview still. I mean, it's a, it's yeah. not like you're guaranteed anything for just, a, and I'm glad to see that you're still, you know, you're, you're writing your ass off and doing mm-hmm. all this work. And in addition to your, your stressful but enjoyable job. Yeah. Well, and then the more, like, so I've also been doing improv, and the more that I do mm. improv, um, like, I, I hate being on a stage, and I hate that whole piece yeah. of it, but I'm, I don't know, I'm getting better at that. But We're going to do a two-man show. We're doing yeah. it. We're going to do a two-man, not a, a one-time improv. We're going to do it. I'm Sweet. Gonna, it's going to be yeah. fun. Um, but what I love is, like, doing improv is doing therapy. Yeah, it's, it's very therapeutic. It's not judging somebody, and it's not knowing where something's going to go, and it's being present in the moment. And then building off of an idea, and so like There's three quote quotes from yeah. this man right now. He's spoken like a true writer. <laughs> Very good, dude. Yeah, Very and so I love thing. that. And then just the idea of of taking your 
work stresses or life stresses and then like putting that into sketch or putting that into like a behavior or an idea that's mm. funny is really therapeutic. I and mean, that's very like the second city method of taking improv and converting it into writing. So it's yeah. been trained well, my friend. So let's move on. And thank we'll you for continue. sharing. I appreciate it. Thank of you for sharing. It was really good stuff. Yeah. It's really good stuff. And I'm um, glad to see you finally were able to make it. We found the time. You know, mm-hmm. our schedules are always up in the air crazy. So stay tuned for part three.